Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let me say happy uh, good morning and uh, good evening wherever you are and with the Lord and he said my presence shall go with you and I will give the rest. I will give you the rest. So I wish all of you having uh, you know great time with your family healthy and doing great. Uh, <clears throat> actually I can't stay for long because I have a lot of work to do, some urgent work, but because I really miss all of you and many of you are waiting, so I decided to go and say good morning. But as usual, you know, Muslims, they will not leave me alone. You know, they miss me. You know, they cannot, I mean, they really miss it. You know, I mean, even the title is good morning, but Abdul, he have to say something. Another Abdul, he have to say something. They cannot, I mean, they cannot wait. And you know what? I'm here for it, you know. You know, Muslims, I love to do it. I love to show you how hypocrite, how silly, how funny your argument and your religion. This is Abdul, he just posted just a minute ago. The following. CPA was debating a Muslim. Oh, this is not a Muslim, this is not a soul, but this is the, the Abdul telling the Christians about this. CP, I was debating a Muslim yesterday, and he mentioned Genesis 24, 9, as Abraham forcing his uh, oldest servant to hold his private part and make an oath. How do you answer that? Are you sure you are a Christian? Because you idiot. If you are a Christian, you can go to the verse right away, and you will see nobody is forcing, and there's no private part, and you are a monkey, and he was a donkey. I mean, the whole question is stupid, and you are more stupid if you, even if you are a Muslim or not. Because can't you go to Genesis and read it? Where it says he hold his private part, and where it says he force him to hold it, and where he says it says he make him oath on it. Do you understand why I say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse? It says... He, the, the, the servant, he is begging his master for forgiveness. So what he did, he hold him under his thigh. Do you know what thigh were? He did not hold even his thigh. He's holding his shin, his foot, his leg. And the coward you, you fabricate the whole topic which is not there. Anyone can go right now and read the verses. Why people love to lie? This is why we say to Christians, never take any statement from a Mohammedan. They love to lie about us and about our book. And it, you know, I mean, it, they are silly to the point, don't they ask themselves, okay, those people, they are going to read it? Huh? Don't they know that people, they can go and read? I mean, is it really a mission, like a mission impossible? So they don't hesitate to lie in order to fool you. And this is exactly what Jesus said about the devil. He is the father of all lies. And those who lies, they are serving their father, the devil. This is the verse, and you can read the whole chapter, and people will laugh at you. And the one who gave you the question, and the one who is taking the question, the one who is posting the question, and the one who is reading the question. Because there is no question in the question. This is silly. It's not there. There is nowhere he is hiding and holding his private part. <laughs> and taking an oath in it. That guy begging for mercy. Like this is the master. And this is his servant. He holding him from his leg saying, please master forgive me. Suddenly this one became about penis balls, testicles. However, as long as you mention it, my friend, let me give you something. Just like, you know, uh, there's a coffee for the morning. This is your prophet, Muhammad. A man was kissing him, not in his thigh, up. <laughs> and Muhammad, he take his shirt off, and the man he have no shirt and they are kissing each other and the man saying oh the prophet this is what I, this is how i like it like some they say even the prophet saying don't stop this is how i like it so the muslim asks you the question 
Okay, you get the answer. No. Another Abdul, he said, I don't, I, I, I saw it, but I, I, the, the text is gone. He said, did Jesus say I am God? <clears throat> say I'm God. Abdul, if Jesus says I am God, and I show you the verse, are you going to accept it? You will say no. Okay. I can say I'm God too. So what if somebody say he's God? That, that, you know, that, what make God God is doing what God does. Not saying I am God. Here we go, your God, Allah, he said, I am God, worship me. But your God do not know which one he created first. The mountains, the trees, or the stars. Have you ever heard of a God, he forgot which one he did first? Maybe your God got so old and he is losing his memory. Like where I put my car keys. Or he's holding his socks in his hand and he don't remember that it is in his hand. So he was looking over, all over the house. Where's my socks? Where's my socks? And then his wife, she said to him, it's in your hand, you idiot. So when the Muslim, they come to us with the questions, we laugh because we see how naive, how silly, and how funny the argument is. They cannot defeat Jesus. So we have to fabricate lies about the book of Jesus. We cannot defeat Jesus. So we have to make Jesus look bad. Where Jesus says, I'm God. Well, isn't it the Quran says, who forgives sins beside Allah? In chapter 3 in the Quran, 1 verse 135. Who forgives sin? The Quran says, no one forgives sin beside Allah. Which is funny. Because in different verse, Allah says, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. <laughs> Allah is asking other Allah to forgive the sin of Muhammad. While Jesus, he said to the women, he said to the man, he said to everyone, go and your sin is forgiven. Who forgives sin beside Allah? Are you there, Abdul? If you go to Matthew chapter 9, you will see it says that Jesus said to the person, Go and your sin is forgiven. And that's why the Jews, they went crazy. They want to kill him. Because who is this person who forgives sin? He claimed to be God. And Jesus, he read even their mind. He said to them, I know what you are thinking. He knew what they are thinking. So he said to them, You are thinking evil things. Is it easier to say your sin are forgiven? Or to say, get up and walk. So what make Jesus God is doing what God can do. Can your prophet make a man sin forgiven? And he can make him go up walk by saying to him, stand up? If the Muslim, they want to say to us that those miracles are given by Allah to Jesus, how come Allah could not do any of them? Because here we go, Muhammad, he lived all his life and he could not even heal himself. He died from poison and the funny he said that the one who eats seven ajwa and Muhammad eats seven ajwa every day, no poison will affect him and no black magic will affect him. And then we find out that Muhammad died by, you know, by poison and he was in their black magic. This guy cannot even stand with the promise he make. Who is the one who told Muhammad that if you eat seven ajwa every morning, you will not be affected by poison or magic? Is it Allah? If Allah told him that, how that turned to be false? Because Muhammad himself, he died by poison. A woman, she went to Home Depot. She got a cheap rat poison. Put it for him in his dish. And Muhammad ate it. And like, Whoo. what happened? What happened to this uh, the, the Dr. Muhammad who gave us advice is coming from Allah? Hmm? 
So Muslims, you are welcome to ask me questions, to challenge me. If you have a sheikh you'd like to call me, I would be happy to speak to him. But I, I, you know, I assure you, all your argument is funny. It will be answered in the spot. We are not the same as others. Muslim, they debate, and this is why Muslim don't come to me. They want to debate other names without mentioning. With me, you go flat. Your tire is a flat. Your God is a flat. Your Quran is a flat. Not only your earth is a flat in the Quran, everything about your God here is a flat. You go flat. This is the only way to avoid the, the wind. Uh, talking about wind, not to forget to mention that Muhammad was Dr. Wind too. I mean, who is the one who made thousands of hadith about farting? Have you ever heard of a prophet like that? There's a guy, a Muslim guy, he took, a, 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 I think, a master or a PhD. I think it's a PhD. In the kind of sounds of farting according to Islam. Look, look the specialty. Look how deep the topic is. The kind of sounds mentioned, there's kinds of sound. And the effect of that sound on Allah, prayer brother. As an example, farting flourish when you say the name of Allah. Shaitan, like you know, keep farting. Look, this is deep. This is no. Don't don't read the, the 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 speech of Jesus in the mount. No no no. Come here, hear the wisdom. Look at this. When Satan hears the call to prayer, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. She don't start now. You don't have religion. You have just an idiot making fun of you. This is this is a prophet of God talking. Imagine now we have a conference for all countries from around the world, and Muhammad now is holding the microphone. <laughs> uh, prophet it's your turn <coughs> okay <coughs> okay today I'm going to tell you a secret uh, a prophet what was a really secret what is that I receive it from Allah uh, okay let us please when Satan hears the call of the prayer uh, uh, yeah, everybody is excited the president of China Jim Chong huh, huh, and the, the Kim Jong Chin sings song from Korea all of them they are listening like what happened what what when, when what, what Shaitan he do when you hear, when he hear the prayer, he turn his back and he break winds. <laughs> That's deep. I have to admit that this is a prophet of God. Anything else is not accepted. I mean, who can beat this? We have to be decent here. You can bring me all prophets in the world. You cannot get like this. And I'm drinking my coffee in the morning now. And what I'm doing to myself, start talking about farting and Anyway, <clears throat> and remember, we are not here to make fun of you, but you are coming to make fun of us, so we have to respond. You are coming to laugh at us. And the funny, you know, the Muslim, they say to you, uh, Christian prince, he don't act like Christian. Like, why is that? He is so tough. You know, he used a certain language. So when the Christians are following Jesus 24-7, you laugh at them, you say you are following the wrong Jesus. And now you want me to go back and follow the true Jesus? Are you saying that? Christian Prince, Jesus says, love your enemy. Ah, are you saying to me that Jesus, he said, love your enemy, and Muhammad, he says, kill them? So why you follow Muhammad then? Not only kill them, torture them, cut their fingertips. This guy, he enjoyed torturing. He put nails in the eyes of his enemies after he put them in the fire. Uh, Dennis, there is no need to repeat, my friend. Don't worry, I, I can see. I, I mention things when there is a reason. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm not going to stay really long with you, even though supposedly this is a short video, but as you see, it's not short. Uh, the only the only thing is short here is Allah. You know? And, and the Prophet, his knowledge is so long. Uh, as an example, how tall is Adam? How tall is Adam? Very tall. 
extremely tall. You know, if Adam was like 60 meter tall, but how, how tall his wife was? I'm just giving you like a hint about the, the Muslims, they speak about logic, by the way. I mean, notice nobody speak about logic as much as Muslims. They speak about science, uh, discoveries. The Quran have discoveries, yes, brother. You're like what? That the sperm coming from the backbone of the man? Yes, brother. Is that really where it's coming from? Yes, brother. So now the testicle of the man have nothing to do? No, brother. They are there just decoration. Oh, okay, brother. Thank you very much for the information. I mean, they are hanging there as decoration. The sperm come from the backbone, brother. Now, I'm not going to question this. Like, Adam is 210 foot long, according to this grave here. 210 foot. I'm not going to ask you how this guy walked because he looked like a worm for me. I mean, how he can balance himself. Because if you are 210, you have to be very wide. You cannot be 210 and you are... This is very skinny. This is like a worm. This is like, like a stick. And I'm going to ask you how big his... Uh, <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. I mean, if the guy is 210 foot, how big his uh, <clears throat> nose is? And you are coming to us to speak about logic. And you say it doesn't make sense that Jesus is God. And supposedly Muhammad is the one who makes sense. So you Muslim, I see, I, I, I decide to come in there and make a video just to say good morning. But you brought this to yourself. Why you, why you are coming in just right away, launching an attack on us? Truly, I love you Muslims, honestly. Muslims, they think I hate them, by the way. I don't. I feel sorry for you. Look at this garbage. I mean, this man, he made you believe in this. This is Adam Grave. And by the way, Adam, Adam Grave is everywhere. There's a grave for him in Pakistan, Pakistan, in Afghanistan, in Iran, in Iraq, in Syria. I mean, Adam died everywhere, man. I think Allah, he was making like, maybe, I mean, like, like you know, like a Tesla car. Adam number one, Adam number two, Adam number three, and he sent them everywhere. And you are telling me, I'm telling the Christians about how you answer this. Do you Muslim believe in the evolution of being short now? I mean, like he was so tall and then he shrink, 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 shrink until he became Ahmadinejad? From 210 foot to four foot guy? What happened? Is that because of the cold? How, how tall was Eve? And not, not to forget that the Muslim in heaven, he would be 90 mile tall. I mean, that's short, 90 mile. I mean, think about it. It makes, it makes sense. 90 mile tall. And not to forget your prophet, he promised you, you have endless private part. You see, I'm using the word private part because I'm trying to be polite and I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. I don't know how many, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people now will convert to Islam, you know. Look at those graves, look at this guy, he is praying next to it. Alhamdulillah. Brother. Brother. This is a prophet who? Like, look, look, do you know this is, this is a grave of who? Who want to guess this is a grave of who? Anyone have an idea? This is the father of Mary. The father of Mary, the mother of Jesus. This is a grave. Look at the grave. Look, 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 look. So if the father of Mary is like this, how, how tall Mary was? And, and, and then what Jesus, about how tall Jesus was? I mean, this is how people used to look like 2,000 years ago. This is the grave of the father of Mary? Are you sure? I swear by Labrador. 
No, no, it says here, Prophet Imran, Imran. Imran, chapter 3, verse number 3. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, chapter 3, it says, the chapter of Ali Imran. Imran is supposed to be the father of Mary, and he is the father of Moses because Muhammad is an idiot. If we ask Zach and Naik about this, Zach and Naik will have no problem to explain it. <coughs> it's very easy. Brother Sitter, Christian priest, he asks questions and those questions are stupid. It's very simple to explain. In the time of Brother Jesus, he was very tall. And we can prove it. Uh, how, how we can prove it? First of all, his species were very tall. His what? His species. You mean his speeches? I exactly. So, so the speech was tall and that means he's tall? Exactly. I speak for 10 hours, not a stop. Zachary, are you there? <laughs> this is the this is the father of Mary Grave? Are you sure? Is that because of the global warming? Like, you know, the heat make you extend, you know, like... I thought there's no global warming at that time. You know, now, it's, no, it's happening. No, no, it was happening since then. And then they shrink. So please don't come to me and tell me okay, how you can answer this. And look who is talking. Look at this guy here. He's taking a walk. You know, you go to walk in the beach, right? No, no, you don't go to walk next to the beach. You walk next to the grave. The grave is so long. This guy is short. Why? What happened? He's shorter. Ah, like this is Adam. This is the grave of Adam. This is a different one. Look, look, look at this one. Look at this one. Look, 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 look. look at this one. Look at this one. This is different the grave. I mean, uh, this is the same one. I think this is the same one. Let us see this one here. Oh, boy. The tomb of Al uh, uh, Amran. I mean, the core. <sighs> tomb of the prophet. Okay, which prophet is this one here? I don't know which one. Look at this. This guy is fat. I mean, not, it's not, not like Adam, like he's wide. You see how wide the grave is? It's like a truck. What is this man? Look, look at this guy. He looked like a sandwich and it's not a straight. They could not even make the grave straight. Look at this one. Did you see this one? Did you see it? Look, look, look. Look, what happened? Are you making like, are you making a subway? Is that, a, is that like a, a, a 210 foot subway? This is a, and this is the grave of Prophet Noah. Where? Who? Prophet who? Prophet Noah, brother. Why he look like a sandwich? <clears throat> I mean, the subway, they will make a better sandwich than this one. Why like he's going like, you know, what, what happened? <clears throat> and they come to you and they say to you, you know, Christianity is not logical. Oh, look, they found the foot, the, the footstep of Adam in Sri Lanka. And I know, I know why, why we like to drink tea. Because our grandfather, Adam, he's from, from Sri Lanka. Okay, Adam was in Sri Lanka. How he came to all the way to, to Mecca to do Hajj? Don't you know Sri Lanka is an island? So Allah, he landed Adam in Sri Lanka and Eve in Jeddah? Like what happened? How they met again? They went to the... What's up? Viber, send me your location, share your location with me. Anyway, what we can say? What we can say? And yet they come to you as a Christian and they question you and they say to you, you are funny. Are you sure they are funny? Come on. You are not. You believe that Jesus is God. <laughs> 
Can you make take a look about Sheikh Imran Hussein? I, my friend, I didn't need to take a look. The second you say to me a Sheikh, that's mean he is a certified idiot. Have you ever someone he called himself a Sheikh? He is not an idiot. Sheikh is to believe in this. This is what Sheikh mean. Sheikh to believe that a human being is going is you know he have orgasm of seventy years. I mean seventy years. Make it sixty nine at least, man. I mean this is the most boring sex ever. 70 years just orgasm you go to the house of Zach and Naik he's with the virgins Zach and Naik are you there because then prince I cannot dance can you know because I'm having orgasm okay we come two years after uh, prince, I told you I'm having orgasm okay within 10 years after having orgasm okay I will come 20 70 years orgasm can you take a look about that shake I do not need to take a look if he dare to call me let him call me I mean, 70 years, are you sure that this is the number? And if you have sex with your wife, this is the orgasm alone is 70 years. How long does sex itself? 7,000? And if, if it's true 70 years and you have 72 wife, that's mean your, your, your coming wife or the next wife, you will have sex with her after this woman, I mean, the one you just had sex with her, her turn will come after 5,040 years. What is that, man? So you give me 70 women, and then I will go back to have sex with her after 5,040 years. So what the point? Brother Sita, I want to sit there, have a point. And the other question, what the point? Uh, is I can ask, what is the point? The point is extreme, brother. Allah will give us all the pleasure. Like, you mean pleasure? Exactly. Yeah, but but what the kind of, what the, <laughs> uh, I'm really convinced I'm going to convert. I cannot stay long, sorry. You know, I'm going to go convert right now. And then I will come back to you and I will say to you, uh, Adam was uh, 200 feet, uh, foot, uh, 210 foot tall, brother. And don't try even to convince me that he's not. But look, look, this is a this is the grave of Prophet Daniel. They have a grave for everybody. This is this is the grave of Prophet Daniel. <laughs> hey Daniel, how are you doing? This is your grave? Where have you been? <laughs> and where and where Prophet Daniel Daniel in Uzbekistan? Like he was from Uzbekistan. Prophet Daniel, he is from Uzbekistan, brother. That's deep. The grave of a Prophet Daniel in Uzbekistan. I mean, don't you think that the map is moving too far? In Samarkand? I was wondering where Prophet Daniel from. Thank you, Internet. And thank you, Muslims, for sharing. Prophet Daniel grave in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. I'm going to fly there tomorrow. And I will go and I will take a picture next to it and I will post it for you. For sure, you will not see my face because I'm holy like Allah. Allah don't speak unless he's from behind the burqa, hijab. Where are these? What do you mean where we are? I mean, it says Uzbekistan. I don't know. Search it. You search it. Go right now and type what you see. Prophet Daniel Grave in Samarkand. I mean, even the guy who typed the word, he's, he make the Samarkand, Samarkand uh, with K. Uh, Samarkand, okay. And, and look, they wrote, La he's a Muslim. Prophet Daniel is a Muslim. Look, there's a Shahada on his grave. And look, look how long, look how tall the guy. And there's two, like, genius taking picture with it. Prophet Daniel. This is what? This is a prophet who? Hold on, hold on. Uh, this is the same grave? Oh, this is the same one. Hold on. Look, look, no, this is a different one. Look how tall. This is like this is like the subway that of the, the train. Oh, I don't see the end of it. Nabi Allah, the prophet of Allah, Prophet Daniel. Like, what happened, man? This guy is getting taller. Look, 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 look. Oh, 
And look at me. I want to be tall like this. You know, the, the, the question always, the Muslims, they have, you know, when they say, they don't, they don't think, if, if Adam was 210 tall, so, so why the Kaaba is so small? It looked like a, like a cup of tea next to him. So uh, Adam, Adam, he walked around it and that, that, like a cup of tea? If the guy is 210 tall, 210 foot, and as you see, all of them, they are tall, and now they go to Hajj. Even the father of Mary, he is extremely tall, as you saw, you showed you the, the previous uh, grave. So why the Kaaba is so small? Ah, now I know why they call it the cube. It's a little cube, you know, a cube of sugar. Son of Hazarat, look, who is this guy? Hold on. Son of Hazarat. Uh, they don't say the name of this. Look at this guy, how tall he is, and they put flowers on the top of his grave. And who is this guy too? He's getting now things is getting shorter. This guy is like twenty, uh, maybe he's like ten meter tall only. Look, look. Yeah, you see, this is the evolution. Like you know, we are getting shorter now. Mm, yeah, true story. Hadrat Adam, look, different. This is different grave for Adam. Adam died in Pakistan. Muslim, don't ask questions. By the way, I mean, true. This is true because Adam he died everywhere. They have a grave of Noah everywhere. They have a grave of all, all prophet everywhere. All of this is a scam to make money from the poor Muslims. They come and they put donation. Anyone want to do fraud at that time? Like, you know, these days, hackers, there's hackers, there's people who, you know, like fabricate a website to make you enter your password for the bank or etc. And that time, there's no website. This is the website. We build the grave and we tell the, the, the people, oh, we found the grave of uh, Adam. And now we are in control of it because we are the founder, you know, like when we build the building around it is now we own the building. So in order to get any brother, you have to give money and you have to give charity, brother. Ah, look at this. The graveyard of Hawa. Eve. Even Eve, she had a, the, they found the grave of Eve. Where? And why would not see it? <sighs> <clears throat> uh, how come he made a mistake when he picked the Judas as disciple? Okay, uh, Takbir, this is a good question. Let's see. Let us see how that how that will work for you. Here we go. The Muslims, you see, the, the Muslims, they cannot, you know, uh, Khan, why you don't call me so we can laugh? Do you like to call me? Honestly, do you like to call me? I will treat you very nice, honestly. You come always here and you get spanked left and right. I feel sorry for you. I mean, I don't know what your wife should say to you. Do your wife watch this? Please let her watch. Now, let us see what this guy said so we can laugh together. And thank you, Mr. Khan, for posting this. Uh, did Jesus... Uh, are you going to show your face again? What, what do you mean again? Where I show it first time? Secondly, my friend, the question about showing your face again, this is the question we should ask Muhammad about. Because Muhammad, he said, you will see your fa the face of Allah as you saw it first time. When you saw it first time? Muhammad is a liar. This is a question we'll go to back to you. Now, did Jesus, how Jesus was God, how come he made a mistake when he picked Judas as his disciple? You see, in Christianity, my friend, it's not like Islam. We believe in a free will. And this is why Jesus, as long as you are saying how Jesus made a mistake, hey, people, Christians, is it true that Jesus, he said to them who is going to betray him before he did? Is that true? Christians, answer me. Who want to post the verses for us? Is it true that even tell them uh, what Peter will do, what every one of them will do? Is that true? So how Jesus knew the unseen? So Jesus did not make a mistake. Never. We believe in free will. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So in a Christianity, you are being chosen always by God to be saved, but you can reject. 
So Judas is no different. Peter is no different. Paul is no different. Me is no different. You is no different. All of us, we are chosen to be saved. This is why the Bible says for God, he loved the world, our Father. He sent his only begotten Son. He loved the whole world. So all of us, he did not, God did not make a mistake when he chose us to be human. Are you saying that to God, Allah, he made a mistake when he chose Adam? No. The Bible says that God, he regret what happened to Adam, which means he feels sorry for him. But God, he knew the nature of Adam. He is the one who made him. And even your prophet, he says, every son of an Adam is a sinner. Remember here, Jesus is not the son of Adam. This is why Jesus is not a sinner. Every human being is a son of Adam, except Jesus. This is why the Bible says, God is not a man who lie, because there's a connection between God and decency. God is always holy. Man, he lie. Jesus, he never lie. So, the man who lie cannot be God. God who become a man, he never lie. Here now, we explore many things this Muslim, he said to us, showing you how stupid Islam is, because Allah, he chose Muhammad. Didn't he? Allah, he chosen Moses, didn't he? Allah, he chosen the Jews, didn't he? Based on what you are saying, was Allah wrong? Because according to the Hadith, Moses wasn't a Muslim. He believed in the original sin. Was Allah wrong? Moses, he died, and still he believed in the original sin. And let us show you the reference. Do you see it? The Prophet said, this is your Prophet Muhammad, Moses argued with Adam and said to him, Adam, you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin. Thus made them miserable. Adam replied, O oh Moses, you are, the, you are the one whom Allah selected for his message and his direct talk. Yet you blame me for a thing which Allah ordained for me. So do you see how silly what you said now? You are shooting in the foot of Allah because Allah, he elect Moses, yet Moses don't understand Allah. And Moses believe that Adam is the reason for our sin. He is the original sin person. How that happened? How Allah, he made Moses a prophet, yet Moses do not understand what Islam is about. And this is supposedly a debate happened after Moses, he died. Because remember, Moses and Adam, they are at the same time. Are you there, Khan? Did Allah make this wrong elect? As you see here, it says, Allah select Moses to speak to him, direct talk. He select Moses to write for him in his hand. Now it's the same. Stop lying. You see, here we go. He's in trouble now. First of all, first of all, Jesus, he says, carry your cross and follow me. He did not make them disciple. They made themselves disciple. Anyone who follow Jesus, he become a disciple. Anyone, he can deny Jesus. Peter himself, he denied Jesus. Here, we have a Musa, who Muslim, they lie saying to us, he's a Muslim. But yet, Moses, the Muslim, he believed in the original sin like the Christians. Do you see it? That's mean Allah, he did not teach Moses during his lifetime that this is not true. So how this guy became a prophet? Where did he get his education from? Do you remember the story that Allah, he sent Moses to learn from a prophet, his name is Al-Khadr? So this is after he went for training? After Allah, he sent Musas for a training and he took the, you know, the, the fish who uh, drink the fountain of youth, the fountain of youth, yes, brother. This is why Prophet Al-Khadr called Al-Khadr, which means Mr. Green, because he drank from the fountain of youth and he never died. He was in the funeral of Noah. 
He was in the funeral of Abraham. He was in the funeral of, of uh, uh, all the children of Adam. He was in the funeral of Prophet Muhammad. Just because he drank from the pirate of the Caribbean, you know, movie fountain. Are you there? Khan, do you want to call me? So when you say this is not the same, we love. And absolutely it is not the same. Because Jesus, he did not force Judas to be his disciple. In the same time, Jesus told him, you will deny me. The Quran says, who is the one who know the future save Allah? Jesus, he knew. How come your prophet did not knew that the women she will eat, she will put poison for him? While Jesus in the Quran says to you, I can tell you even what you hide in your houses. What you eat, what you ate. Any comment, Mr. Khan, or you are dead now? Did Allah teach Musa's how to what Muslim mean? Yet Musa's he do not know, and not only he do not know, he is arguing, he is blaming Adam for the original sin. What kind of Musa's this Musa's is in Islam? But your prophet, anyone he see him in his way, he make him a Muslim. Trump is a Muslim. You know, you know the thing is a Muslim. Joe Biden's husband is a Muslim. Anyone is famous, Muhammad will make him Muslim. Like you Muslim today, you make you know make fake fake videos about people converting to Islam. I will not be surprised after I die. They will say Christian Prince he gave Allah a finger when he was dying and he told him Shahada. Just wait. Okay, okay, cars, no problem. But you know, so there's many grave for Daniel now. There's one in Samarkand, one in Shosh, one in etc. Yeah, he's everywhere. Look like Daniel, he was dying in the street, you know, like he was walking. So at first his foot died. So they made a grave for the foot. He continued walking. He passed, like, you know, he went to Turkey. He, you know, his foot died in Turkey. So he made a grave for the foot. Then, but why, why the grave is so long? If it's foot, ah, the foot is so big. Uh -huh. And then he continue, he go in Iran. Okay, he arrived to Samarkand, he, his shin died. Eh, they made the grave for the shin. Now he continue walking. Like how he's walking, his shin is gone. He can do it, man, he slide himself, hello. So he enter like, you know, uh, Afghanistan. Okay, and then his thigh died and drop off. They made a the grave for it. And this is the only explanation why they have a grave for the same person everywhere. Don't ask me, this is the Muslim logic, it's not mine. Mr. Khan, are you there? And not only that, your prophet here agree with, uh, with Adam argument and he claim that Allah is the one who made Adam commit sin. Can you believe it? Which means Adam was a good person, Allah is bad. Adam says to, to, to Moses, you blame me for something Allah he ordained for me 40 years before my creation. Read with me and laugh. Do you blame me? For doing a deed which God had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me. I should do. He should do. According to Islam, all the sin we do is Allah forcing us to do. So why Allah want to punish you for your sin? Islam is a stupid. Why Allah he kicked Adam from heaven? Because the guy did not do anything, Allah forced him to do it. It says there, do you blame me? Which means we cannot blame him. Even Allah cannot blame him. Three lions, uh, my friend, you are three? Uh, okay, uh, let us take this one so we can laugh. Hmm. This is another Abdul, he's saying the following. Look how, he Look how fast, man, he debunked the Trinity. Look how deep. <laughs> Jesus said, he does not know the final hour. 
doctrine is debunked Trinity doctrine you, you did read that same chapter you say as Jesus said when this happened and 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 this happened that the time I will come so he is telling us when the hour will be but not the date for the father will announce it because Jesus says I do the same work as my father but he announced that the one will announce the date of judgment is the father in the same time we don't have a preset the Bible says as an example in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah if there is 50 people are decent in the city are you going to destroy the city God he said no what about let us say 30 no what about 10 no he will not destroy it so the judgment day in Christianity is not like the stupid Islam it is us who decide when it's going to be. The more fast we corrupt ourselves, the more there's no more decent left, the more the faster judgment they will come. So God in Christianity, he decide that it is you who will bring the judgment day on you. As fast as you corrupt yourself. In Islam, no. In Islam, Allah, he said that he is God and he decided, he wrote everything in the book. But look what happened if we go to the stupid book in the Quran. And so, thank you for asking the question. Because God who did not know the judgment day, this is your point, right? He cannot be God. Correct? But Jesus does. No. Because he told you all the signs will happen and then he will come. No one else. Because he said, the Father, he gave me the power over the flesh. You see, the silly Muslims cannot understand that this is why Jesus called God the Father, Father. Why he called him Father? Do you understand what the word Father mean? That mean Jesus is being given authority from the Father. So we don't say in Christianity that God is the same as the Father, as Jesus, is a different person. And the father, he gave his son the duty and the authority over the flesh in the judgment day. So because you don't understand the Trinity, you come with a false argument. And this is no strange because even your God, he thinks that Trinity is Mary. And look here how funny it is. How come you as a Muslim, you know what the Trinity is, but your God, he thinks Mary is a Trinity? Have you ever heard that God, he speak against the Trinity in the whole Quran? He speak about it as if it is wife, husband, and son. Wife is Mary. Husband is the father. Jesus is the son. That's how stupid your God is. But you understand better because you learn Trinity from us. So the city God of Islam could not even understand what the Christians believe. So how you can understand? In the same time, if you go and read the holy chapter about Jesus saying the father only knew the hour. He is telling you, I announce to you the details, but the Father will announce to you the day. Because he's the Father. Everyone, he have work to do. Jesus, he do work, and the Father do work. Are you there, Abdul? In the same time, how come Allah, he announced the judgment day, but nothing happened? If we go to the chapter of the moon, you know, you look at the moon, I look at the prophet, I look at the moon, I look at the prophet. Huh? And the prophet was whiter than the moon. Your God in the Quran says, the judgment day is sight, sight, not near. And the moon split. So your God, he announced the judgment day. Where, where is the judgment day? false prophecy the moon split split two pieces it was what it was the judgment day sign that was 1400 years ago what happened the moon glued again Allah changed his mind the silly Muhammad he saw eclipse he said this is a judgment day and he was terrified and we can show you the story So do Jesus, he knew about the judgment day? Absolutely. But the Father will announce the hour. Because the hour is going to be brought upon us by us. The faster we corrupt ourselves, 
the faster we are more sinners, the more there is no decency in this earth, the fast the judgment day will be. Any Muslim? Uh, if you if you are spamming the chat, we will block you. And you are the one, the bully. Don't like a Muslim talking about a bully. There's a chapter in the Quran. Actually, all the chapter in the Quran is about bullying. But let me show you a chapter Muhammad he made about his uncle. Muhammad is bully, bu doing bully to his uncle. Read with me, Allah. This is Allah saying to the uncle of Muhammad, perish the hand of the father of the flame, perish he, no profit him from his worth will gain. Burnt soon will be in the fire blazing flame, and his wife is a wearing carrying wood for the fire, and he is she is going to be wearing a robe with the palm fiber and twisted necklace in her. This God talking? This is bully. This is your God going in Twitter. He is posting to the wife of Muhammad uncle. Uh, 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 you will go to hell and you will carry a robe made from wood hey, 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 around your neck. Hello, this is God? Who is this guy? I mean, why even the God of the heaven and the earth and the galaxies care for such a... Pr I mean, look at this conversation. <clears throat> this is a fight between two old women. Uh, 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 your husband is funny and your husband is silly and uh, no your husband is stupid do you know that your husband last time he could not even slaughter the chicken this is God talking this is bully hmm. so a Muslim when he come to talk about bully not only that Muhammad he said to the Christian if you don't believe in me Allah will, make, will erase your face uh, 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 this is bully <clears throat> huh? Any Abdul? <clears throat> what you will do if I show you that your God believe in fate? I can show you that your Jesus did not die for everyone. Okay, what if I show you that you are a coward and you will not dare to call me? Take beer. Hey people, I have a challenge for this guy. Is that fair guys? I will put, you see, here we don't hide questions of Muslims as Muslims they do when we ask them questions. You don't dare even to let us talk. What if I show you, do you dare to call me now and show me even though supposedly I'm not going to stay long? Okay, did I say I will not stay long? Man, see how short now? Do you dare to call me and show me what you promise? Or you are a text terrorist? Like your prophet, he sent his men to war, but he hide between the legs of Aisha. Do you dare? And I promise you in the front of everybody, I will give you the time to read for me all the verses from the Bible. I will not interrupt you. As long as you are reading the verses of the Bible and telling me the question. And then I will answer you. And then you will answer me. Dear? I will give you twice time more than me to talk. If I speak to two minutes, you will have four. If I speak for four, you will have eight. Do you dare to call me? So do you know why I say the, I use the word potato? Do you understand why I say the word potato? Right? In Matthew 26, 39, Jesus is a Muslim. Okay, let us see that. This guy, he changed his name, he came with differently. Let us laugh again. So if, if Jesus, let us say, if Jesus was praying to the Father, that will make him a Muslim. But this is the Son speaking to the Father. But Allah pray on Muhammad, praying to who? The Quran says, Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. 
Allah prostrate you to Muhammad, praying on Muhammad, the Muslim they say he is sending blessing. The word pray, now is blessing. Okay, then based on you, I can switch the word pray there to make it a blessing too. He will say, no, 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 no. This is not sending blessing. See the, see the hypocrisy? For us, we have no problem because we believe in the Trinity. The Son speaks to the Father. As simple as that. That's why Jesus says, let your will be done. Let your will be done. So the Son and the Father are in total agreement. But when Allah is said to Allah, may Allah forgive the sin of you, Muhammad. He's talking to who? Do you have an answer, Abdul? You are not a three lions, you are three frogs. When Allah he say here, chapter 48, verse number two, may Allah, look the Muslim translation says, forgive your fault. It says, them, them means sin. You change the translator in a miraculous way, the word fault will become sin. What a silly religion. That Allah may forgive your sin. Who is talking? Are you there? Who is talking? Hmm? Jesus says, John, he says, I have a choice. You know, Abdul, didn't I say to you that all of us were chosen? And the Bible says the chosen one will be fall, will, will fail too? Is it the angel himself becomes Satan in, the, in, the, in, in Christianity? You are silly and stupid. Did Allah choose Adam to be a prophet? Did Allah choose, according to Islam, Adam is a prophet. Did Allah choose Adam to be a prophet and this prophet commits sin? Silly. Did Allah choose Adam to be a prophet and he will go, Allah saying to Allah, may Allah forgive your sin. So you are very silly and you are a hypocrite, double standard person. I chose in you you did not show me. That's for all of us. As an example, God, he chose the Jews. He chose them. But did the Jews betray God? Yes. Even the Quran say the following. Let me get you busted again. From your book, from the city Quran. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. It's coming. Hmm? Allah he said Allah he elected the Jews he elected them and he gave them even a mission to protect the Torah he entrusted them read carefully and laugh with me verily we did send down the Torah to Moses therein was guidance and light by the, which why which the prophet who submitted themselves to Allah not submitted by the way says surrender will judge the Jews and the rabbis and the priest to judge okay I mean this guy he's putting too much things between bracket and then he says Allah for them was entrusted the protection of Allah book did Allah chose me guys did Allah chose the Jews to protect the book did, does it say he trusted them? Do you know what the word trust mean? Okay, Fado, I will go there. Hold on. But let us finish this one. Go to Surah, where Allah says to pray to. Well, you can watch the video of uh, uh, the, the tip boy, Mimi Hijab. He says, Allah, he pray for, not to. Correct, guys? The video is there. He said, Allah pray for, not to. This is why the translator says, pray for, not to. Go read it, go watch it. But we will go there, no problem. I save your text. So, Allah, he entrusted the Jews. Was Allah trust false? Because if I trust you, that's mean I am confident because the trust will not be given to someone he is bad. So, when Allah, he trusted the Jews, was he wrong? Are you there, Khan? Allah trusted the Jews to protect the Torah. 
Was the Jews trustworthy according to Islam? I'm waiting. I am contradicting myself. You said that they have a free will, big Christianity. You see, you are being stupid again because Jesus said, not everyone who believe in me, sorry, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, God, God, will enter the kingdom of my Father. So in Christianity, we don't take a verse and we forget the rest. You are a false person and now you are trying to get away. Is it the same person, Jesus, he said, not everyone says to me, God, God, here we go, this Judah, he says to him, God, God. But not everyone says to Jesus, God, God. All of us, we are elected. Even the Jews, are they are the first to be elected. But many of the Jews, they will not be saved. And many of the Jews will be saved. So your, your challenge is against your God. For Allah, he elected the Jews. The Quran even says, Allah, he favored them over all mankind. Not only mankind, even even the genie. Chapter 2, verse number 47. Chapter 2, verse 122. Do you see it? Chapter 45, verse number 16. Allah, he favored the Jews. He elected the Jews over all mankind. Based on your statement, Allah cannot be God. So look what happened now. We have Allah entrusting the Jews. In what? In his book. What a big mission. And the Jews were not trustworthy. So if Allah elected the Jews for such a uh, mission, and Allah cannot understand that those people don't fit for the mission, that means he is an idiot. You know, when a Muslim he says something, it, the, the funny is, when we explain Islam, we don't explain Islam according to us, we can show them the tafsir of the verse according to the scholars. When the Muslim they try to explain our Bible, they explain it as they wish. <laughs> That's it. He decides this is the meaning. Abdul decided what he can do. He is digging his boogers now and he found it. Okay, this is what it means. No, my friend. God, he created angels as angels. In Christianity, the angel decided to become Satan. Free will. In Islam, there's no free will. So, what you are saying to me now is totally the opposite of what we Christians believe. And this is what you Muslims believe, because there's no free will. You see, when, the, when Allah, he trusted the Jews for the Torah, isn't it Allah who made the Jews corrupt the Torah? Yes or no? Who is the one who made the Jews corrupt the Torah? Allah. Because every sin in Islam happened by the order of Allah. Any bad things you do, any bad things happen to you, is by the order of Allah. Do you see it? Chapter 64, verse number 11. Your God, Allah, is the devil. No calamity befalls on you, Muslims, human, but with the leave and the decision and the qadr of Allah. So is it a disaster for mankind that God, he sent them a Torah and then the Torah was corrupted so all the nation will go to hell? This is the biggest disaster. What is bigger than this? The Quran says this is was by the order of Allah. Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? Nothing can happen. No bad thing can happen. Is lies bad things? Yes. Even your prophet saying, even when your penis, even when your penis get horny, it was Allah who is making it horny. Read carefully. This is your prophet explaining. Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which the man will indulge in. He did what? He fixed the portion of adultery 
which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. Do you see? Necessity must commit. It's not a choice. So even your testicle in Islam, the action is based on Allah decision. A man, he see a woman, he get horny. Is that his decision? No. Allah was making his penis function at that moment. Read it. I'm lying. Prove me wrong. In Christianity, no. In Christianity, Jesus says, if your eye will fail you, better take them away. Better than be thrown in hell high fire. Take it away. In Islam, no. Your fornication is decision made by Allah. Prove me wrong. Are you against your prophet? Who is a Muslim going to say that this is not true? Any Abdul? A man, he saw a woman, he got horny and excited, and both of them get excited, they decide to have sex. Based on the Muhammad teaching, both of them, Allah, he is the one who made them have sex. Read. And this is Sahih. This is not false. This is not, this, Muslim cannot say this is Daif. <clears throat> Inspiration videos, dear brother. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my voice is tired. Uh, do you know that in Indonesia now there is many apologetic now and many are using the reference that you video tell Muslims, why not? I mean, that's why we give them our books for free. That's what we want. We want to spread the knowledge. We want to. We want to have a, a million Christian prince and better than Christian prince. We pray for that. Where Muslim cannot answer. Look at them. Look at them. They open a topic and they cannot close. They open a topic. They don't dare to close. How that can be from God? That God is the one who forced you to commit adultery. How that can be godly teaching? I thought that this is from Satan. Any Muslim want to respond? Remember, I am answering your question. Did Jesus force Judah to betray him? No. Jesus says that the tree don't give a fruit will be cast in hellfire. And Judas is no different. Unless he repent and God forgive him, I don't know. Same can go for me and for you. But we don't have God who says, I'm going to make you make fornication and I will force you to do it. It's a necessity to commit. It is what? It's a necessity to commit. How that can be from God? I mean, Muhammadan, where is the, where is the Abdul who we are answering? What is the, what his name? The guy who gave me the question, Takbir Khan, where are you? What happened now? God, he chose. Everything he did, he chose. But he gave us free will. This is Christianity. Islam now. Islam, the Quran confirmed, the Hadith confirmed, your prophet explained and still the Muslim, they start to say, uh, you, you know, you are wrong. Wrong in what? I'm not telling you even what I think. It's what your prophet saying. Do you dare to say your prophet is wrong? Who is a Muslim he dare to call me and explain to me this hadith? There's a Muslim woman she called the Sheikh. She said she became over 30. And you know, in the Middle East, if you are over 30, that's you know very old for a woman there. Because they like children, you know, to have sex with them. Like the Prophet, he has sex with Aisha. According to the hadith, he married her at the age of six, and then he was molesting her until she was nine, and then he had intercourse. So she said to him, I am afraid I'm not going to have a husband. He said to her, my daughter, don't worry. The Prophet says, ala kulli farjin ismuna kihihi. It is written in the top of every vagina, the name of the one will if it. I'm sure the woman, she went right away in front of the mirror to see how many names there. So he told her, don't worry. If there's a man is going to do it to you, boom, boom, it is written there. It's a destiny. It's a destiny. Nobody can change it. Prove me wrong. So if a woman, she is a prostitute, she will have a yellow pages there. 
Like you go there. Can you check for me if the Prophet Muhammad name is there? She said his name. What? It starts with which letter? Letter M. M. Like Monica. So she opened your pages. Monica. 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 Sorry, Muhammad. 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 Uh, what is the last name? It's written there. Are you sure, Allah? Yes, brother. It's written there. Uh, Senira is saying, I thought the Christians are supposed to respect other religion. The funny is, I thought you should not respect us. This is your God teaching. So why are you asking us to respect you? So you are a person who favor religion. It's called Islam. Says the Christians and Jews are pigs and monkeys. They are the worst than the, all the creatures. They are like animals. They are dirty. They are nudges. And then you are asking us to respect other religion. No, we don't respect somebody. He believed that we are pigs and monkeys. Do you? You see how silly you are? In Senator, the Christian, they respect everybody. No, we don't. We don't. We don't respect criminals. We don't respect child molester. We don't respect liars. We don't. Your earn respect is not a degree. You have it by birth. The Lord, he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. So we judge your fruits. So go and fix your broken teeth like uh, like uh, Zach and Nag. They thought the Christian, they were the thief there. So we are dogs, we are like cats, we are like rats, we are like monkeys, and we are nudges, we cannot enter the Holy Land because we are filthy. And if you see Christian and Jews in the street, force them to walk in the, in the, in the sewage, and then they say, we thought, you know, we thought, uh, you know, yeah, we thought, brother, that Christianity, brother, teeth you to, brother, you know, respect everybody, brother. I don't follow the teaching of Jesus. And here we go. Another idiot. As long as I don't follow the teaching of Jesus. Can you show us the teaching of Jesus, you idiot? You will say to me, the Bible. Stupid. You just approve that the Bible is true. And you are a certified idiot. <laughs> because where we can find the teaching of Jesus? In order for you to know where I, if I am following it or not. Do you see why I say there's you don't have IQ at all, not low IQ. You don't have it. You don't follow the teaching of Jesus. Okay, where we can find the teaching of Jesus? Where? In the Bible. Okay, that's mean the Bible is true. That's mean you are a liar when you say the Bible is corrupted. Actually, even your stupid Quran says the Bible never be corrupted. Even the Quran says, Musaddiqan Lima Ma'ahum, confirming what is with them. What? Yes, brother. Who said that? Allah, brother. Are you kidding me? Yes, brother, not. Where he says that? All over. All over. All over. All over. All over. Like where? Like all over. Like where, where? Like here and there. <laughs> ah. Confirming what is with them, not was, you see false translation, what was with them. But that in the present, it says, ma ma'ahum, li ma ma'ahum, potato. Chapter 2, verse number 89. Confirming what is with them. What, what? What is with them? Like how do you confirm what is with us? And then you come to us, you send us Zachar Naik, and the dad says to us, Brother eh, Thithar. Any Abdul, if your God confirming what is with us, your God must be sick. Because what with us is Jesus is God. I think your God is suffering from Corona stuff, you know. Hallucin, hallucin, he's hallucinating. You do not know the Quran why you are afraid to debate Muhammad hijab that's a good question by the way because Muhammad hijab I called him and he did not debate me he started playing for me audio saying to me did you say that and he hang up on me I am waiting for the coward to debate me all of you are coward correct Christians isn't it me who called 
Mimi hijab, and he have seven seven boys with him to protect him. And he hang up on me more than six or seven times, and I could not talk. Did you say that? You have thirty seconds to answer. <laughs> the second I start answering, hang on him, hang on him. This and he called me bastard. I am the one who don't dare coward potatoes. All of you are potatoes. None of you dare to debate me. None. You know, I don't mind, by the way, to debate with the tit boy. The guy he made a video says, Christian Prince, sexual predator. Why? Because I was quoting his prophet, speaking about suckling. Imagine, guys, if you quote their prophet, they accused you to be a sexual predator. Okay, what Muhammad Hijab, what I did, he says to a Muslim woman, can, can I suckle you? I was quoting her prophet. And then later we found Muhammad Hijab going around and he's saying the same to Muslims. Look, 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 look. Muhammad Hijab, can I suck your wife tit to make her haram? Muhammad Hijab is making fun of your prophet because the one who made this rule is Allah. Is it Allah he sent an order of 10 time breast suckling for adult? Huh? This Mimi is not a Muslim. Meaning he denied that Allah have a shin. When, when David would, he asked him, your body, your God, Allah have a body part. He said, who said so? The Quran says so. The Hadith says so. You can go right now and search. There's tons of videos made by sheikhs, real sheikhs, saying Allah have a foot. Yes. Allah have a hands. Yes. Allah have a face. Even Zakur and Ayuka, he says Allah have a face. How will Allah face look like? Allahu <laughs> alam. So my friend, if you have a man to debate me, let him show up. You don't have men, you have tit boys. Tit boys. He's making fun of his God and his prophet. Look, why it's wrong? He believe it's halal. He's speaking to a sheikh, by the way, this guy is a sheikh. And Mimi Hijab saying to him, can I suck your wife tits? Another Abdul, he said to him, what kind of mannerism are these? Shame on you, Muhammad. Yeah. He don't have a good matter, 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 matter what? <laughs> so my friend, bring me the tech boy, the legs boys, all of them. Where are they? I am the one who challenged, they don't show up. All of them, they want to debate me face to face. <laughs> only face to face. What's wrong with you? <laughs> because this is the only excuse we can hide behind the burqa. Anyway, anytime you have somebody claim that he have knowledge, please, I will be happy to talk to him. And if he is rude, I will deal with him based in his talk. If he is good, I will speak to him nicely. I'm a person, you know, I decide how to talk to the person. The, you know, the, I have thousands and thousands of debates, if we can call it debates, because Muslim, they never debate. Never debate. I never saw a Muslim debating, actually. They play games. Did your prophet say this? I never heard this before. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you heard it. So, did you? Well, how you explain? I, I, not, I need to check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. I will give you five minutes, ten minutes. How come they knew what is our Bible saying, but they do not know what their prophet is saying? And now, it's an open challenge. Who is willing to call me? And he is a sheikh, or somebody claimed that he is a big shot. Anyone? Uh, someone saying, oh, "Okay, that's a good that's a good point, brother. Good point, 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 point. Not good point. No, brother. Look at this genius. CP. Muslim have a pain now. He have a problem." CP, you sit home, you hide behind your screen. I never see you go in actual debate anyone. I don't need to go, I need to go. If I can do, sitting in my chair, what I can do, nowhere else, why I wanna do? If I go to debate somebody, let us say, in the street, okay, how many people will see it? At the end of the day, the only place is YouTube. Even if it's in the street. Correct, guys? Here we go, I'm here.
People, they won't answer, my friend. They don't want to see you. And you have no answers. The one who can debate in the street, he can answer me and debate me here. What is your problem? Here we can share reference. Here nobody can shout, nobody can, you know, there's very easy, nice. Sit home, you are watching, and we are showing you the best entertainment. Allah has a shin. You sit here, and you see how Muslim explain to us how beautiful the shin of Allah. What do you want more? And as long as you are a person who don't like people who hide themselves, why Allah he hide himself? Isn't it the Quran says, Allah he never spoke to anyone except from behind the burqa? Hijab? And you see the Muslim making fun, saying, Krishna Prince is hiding behind hijab. Even Mimi, his last name is hijab. Allah, he said in the Quran, that Allah never spoke to anyone except from behind the hijab. True or false? Prove me wrong. Is that your Quran? Or I'm making things up? Chapter 42, verse number 51. Why Allah don't come and debate us? He's sitting behind his hijab. And how Allah is sitting behind the curtain? Are you saying to me that the light of Allah can be hidden by a curtain? Is that a curtain from Home Depot? How Allah light is amazing and that there is a curtain can hide him. Are you there? If you ask the Muslim, how, how no, the Quran says that Allah is the light of the world. He's saying the word of Jesus. Okay. This is literally, not metaphorically. Then Allah, he hide himself behind the curtain. Do you see it? Why? Are you there, my friend? So look, I sit behind my computer and people in Indonesia around the world are listening to me and leaving Islam. So which one is better, to go in the street or to be here? Here. That is the best. Right? You don't do another job. Islam is a growing religion. Prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. No problem. Let me prove you wrong. Because now you just prove to us that your prophet is a false prophet. Look at this. You see why, this is why I said to you guys, make videos of Muslims screenshot. Because those are teaching you how to refute and get them busted so easy. Why you don't do other job? Islam is a grooming, brother. Religion prove me wrong. Well, I do not need to prove you wrong. Because if this is true, that means your prophet is a scam. Because your prophet, he says, Islam starts small and will end small. Uh-oh. Are you saying your prophet, he lie? Are you saying that your prophet is lying? I did not accept that from you. Shame on you. Shame on you, my brother. How you are saying to me, not only you are saying to me, you are saying to me, prove me wrong. You just approve your prophet wrong. Correct, guys? Because if Muhammad is a prophet and he was prophesying the future, well, this is what he said. Islam began as a small religion and will return to the state of beginning. You said, prove me wrong. I, didn't, I don't want to prove you wrong. Thank you very much. Muhammad is a false prophet. Do you see it? Now what you will say to me, Muhammad is a stupid, he is a guy, he says things he don't mean, he was taking hashish, I agree. He's a hashish guy. He was busy with the tits, like Mimi Hijab. Are you there? What happened to you, the guy who want to get me busted, prove me wrong? Do you see why they don't call me? Because it's going to be scandal. They will be famous as the idiot, the village idiot. You sit and you don't answer us. So what I'm doing right now, Abdul? I mean, all those hours and years of my life, getting you busted and I was not answering you. 
Look who's talking about the mute. It's you Muslims who mute everybody. Anyone you don't like him, even you kill him. Why there's no gays in the Middle East? Because you mute them by your sword, huh? Look who's talking about the muting, freedom of speech. Muslim, suddenly Muslims speaking about freedom of speech. <laughs> the one who changed the religion, kill him. You don't let us talk. <laughs> you sit there and you don't answer us. What? He's, look, he's, he's, I told you, don't use Quran, please. I mean, we cannot put those words in the screen. This is a word your prophet use. Shame on you, don't use it here. Okay, we are we are going to erase it just for Taliban watch. Taliban, they use it only when the prophet say it. Okay? Yeah. So, mute all non-Muslim and debate us. Ah, you want to mute all Muslims? Non-Muslims. You want me to mute them? Why? You are debating me anyway. Don't look at the chat. The chat is causing you uh, Shafranidza? The quiet was Shafran Shafrariza. Don't, don't mute all the chat. Do you want to call me? You hide behind the Quran and the Hadith? <laughs> you know, when I say this, they, they, you know, Khan, are you sure you are a Muslim? I don't know. You sound like you are being paid by a Christian prince because anyone, he makes stupid statement, the Muslim, they will say he is paid by a Christian prince. Guys, look what he said. Look at this, look, look. Where is everybody? Why we have only 1,056 people? Come on. Don't forget to subscribe and then unsubscribe after we finish. Because Allah will give you a blessing if you do that twice. By subscribing, Allah will give you sin, one sin, one point sin. If you unsubscribe, brother, Allah will give you double sin, double blessing. Uh, Christian Prince, you hide behind the Quran and the Hadith, but do not acknowledge your book. Look at this. I have no comment. Let everybody answer you. You just agreed that your book is a stupid book. Both of them, the Hadith and the Quran. I don't acknowledge my book fault. <laughs> stupid is amazing. You know, Takbir, actually, I'm going to make you an admin here. I think you're a treasure sent to me by Allah. What do you think? Do you like the job? If I make you an admin here? Huh? Do you like to be an admin in my here? So you, but, but you have to promise me, you have to bring me Muslims to debate me. What do you think? As long as you don't call me, we get you to, you know, debate me 1v1, then I dare you. What, 1v1? Like, oh, are we like are we 20 now versus one? Guys, debate me one versus one. I, I, I am one, my friend. Your God is not. Without interpretation. Why Why without interpretation? Interruption. You can interrupt me too. That's why it's called debate. <clears throat> Are you afraid of me interrupting you? Interrupt me. Prove me wrong. But you let me talk a little bit, you know, like, I will, I will let you talk a little bit. You let me talk a little bit, and we continue. Potato. Anyway, guys, I hope we have a good time today. Uh, because I have a lot of work to do, honestly. And I wasn't planning now, because I changed my mind, because I have a lot of work. I have some uh, uh, maintenance work to do at, uh, at home, urgent one. But I said, uh, you know, let me say, let me say good morning. But I went to say good morning, and then the Muslims start attacking, as usual. And they got what they deserve, right? Make jokes, but afraid? Okay, Mr. Uh, Copy Dragon, do you want to call me now? In the front of everybody, do you dare to call me now? Here we go. I was going to leave. Correct, guys? I was going to leave. If you are willing to call me right now, I will not. What say you? Do you accept? Do you accept? I will open Pal Talk just for you. And you can interrupt me as much as you want. Do you accept?
I'm, guys, I'm saying to them, who wanna call me? And I'm running away. I keep begging them, who is going to call me? And they are, he's running away. <laughs> yeah. Who is the donkey that he told you that God has son and that he is thir uh, a three? Hey, I take beer. Listen, uh, you keep repeating yourself. You are being you are being boring. And when you say God is a single parent, you just admitted that your God Allah is a stupid. Here we go. You will your pal talk? Yeah, you want to go to pal talk? Take beer. You want to go to pal talk right now, and you will call me. Okay, let me log in pal talk. Hold on, guys. Take beer. Decide to call me in pal talk. It's a miracle. I don't believe it. He said, you will see he's a liar. All of those who are saying they want to debate me, they will not, never do them. Let us see. He will go I will open pal talk, even though I have to go. But we will give you three hours short talk. Three hours. Oh, three hours only? Not ten? Okay, ten hours. Oh, ten hours only? You will talk to me only? Okay, 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I am in Pal Talk. What is your name in Pal Talk? Takbir. So I can call you. I am in Pal Talk. Hello? Where is the other guy? The carbonator. I am in Pal Talk. Who is going to call me? <clears throat> Anyone? Look, look how many. I have tons of messages. But I, wa I want to only talk to those who want to debate me right now. Who want to call me? Look, 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 look. Endless messages. Huh? So, who is going to call me? Takbir. Do you dare? I will make you very famous. Already you are famous, but now you will be more famous with your voice. So who is going to call me? I will call you, no problem. Karibut, Kariboto, Karib, uh, Kariboto, are you there? He called, but he is ignoring. He is saying he called, but he is ignoring. Where he called? Who called? Okay, I will not let you chat in the chat unless you text me in pal talk and I will call you. Here we go. I did block you in the chat. To force you to call me in pal talk. Send me a chat. Send me a text. Use the same name you use in the chat. I will show in the screen and I will call you immediately. Anyone? Who there? After I leave, they will say he run away. Okay, forget about the three cats and the three potato and the three tomato and take beer. They are covered, obviously. Who is a Muslim here? He have knowledge of Islam. He's welcome to talk to me. I just open pal talk, even though I wasn't planning to do so. But Muslims, they made me, you know, extend my time. I mean, look at the Muslims, how helpful they are. Christian, they are saying to me, stay, stay, don't leave, don't leave. Christian prince saying, no, I have to go. Muslim, they say he's running. So Christian prince, he changed his mind now, and <clears throat> he's here. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Forget about those three jokers in the chat. They are cowards. They will never do it. Who is a Muslim who have knowledge of Allah and his religion? He would like to talk to me live on air. And I will not choose a topic. You choose a topic. See how, look how fun. I'm not going to say anything to you. You tell me. Whatever you tell me, we'll talk about. Any Mohammedan? Do we have any ustaz from Indonesia? Where is those ustaz from Indonesia? They are busy collecting money. $5,000 to make a speech. His name, what ustaz, what? I forgot his name. Ice cream, ustaz ice cream. Hmm? Where is all those ustaz, oh, all those who they make, uh, you know, the challenge and you know, where are they?
I promise you I will speak to you very nice. Just don't be insulting, otherwise you force me to deal with you. Trust me, you don't want to be rude with me. Who can speak English or Arabic? Oh, if you speak Arabic, no problem, but you have to get a translator with you. Because people, the audience here are people who speak English. So if you are a Muslim Sheikh, or you have a Muslim Sheikh, he want to debate me in Arabic, I have no problem. Yet, he had to bring with him a translator. Because I don't want people to say, oh, he is giving false translation. Is that fair, guys? So even if you are a person who speak Arabic, you are welcome. But because all the audience here, they don't speak Arabic, so what we would do? If our page is just Arab, speaking Arabic people, then okay. Abdul Samad, Abdul Samad, Abdul Samad, ah, Abdul Samad, yeah. So where is the three musketeers? And by the way, the Muslims are anti-Trinity, but Islam is based on three. Allah and Zibril and Muhammad, the three musketeers. <laughs> Everything in Islam is a three. Actually, if you go right now, in the Quran or the Hadith, and type the word three, you will, you will, you will die laughing. Let me do it in front of you. I will, I will type it even in English. Hold on. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this joke. Islam, brother, is against number three. Uh -huh. Okay, let us see. I will just type the word three times. Okay, what we will find? Brother, you will have headache. You will keep reading hadith to the three century coming to come. The messenger of Allah, he liked to supplicate three times. Like, what the heck? And he asked Allah for burden three times. Like, what? Like, why not once? Why not two? Why not four? Ah, he's from Korea. You know, in Korea, there is no fourth floor. If you go in a building in Korea, you go in the building in the stairs, you are in building number three, and then suddenly you are building in, in, in sorry, in floor number three, and suddenly you are in the floor number five. I was, you know, they told me in like in the floor number five, and like, what is what is number three? Uh, where is number four? Sorry, because number four in Korea is a bad number, you know, nobody uses it. So, like, you will not find an address, it's like 444. Four, four. Anyway, so. The prophet who told you to fast 40 days, why he is supplicating to Allah three times? Okay, forget about this. Admins, anyone use bad language, just block him. Don't negotiate. Okay. Allah, he do the wudu three times. He face look, did not translate here in, the, in English. The Prophet Muhammad, he performed wudu three times for each limp. How many limp Muhammad do you have? Three times, why? Is that because this is the perfection? Hmm? Anyone? Anyone have an answer? Three times. Three times. Look, look. I saw Ali performing wudu. He washed his hand three times, and he rinsed his mouth three times, and his nose three times, and he washed his face three times. What? Hmm. Any Abdul? So you made me stay longer. You made people laugh at your prophet more. You made a fake challenge to debate me. What you did to yourself? Uh, <clears throat> oh, we have here a Muslim. His name is Jihad Yusuf. But this is uh, from last month. I don't know if he can call him right now. I want to call in. Okay. Are you online? Okay, and then he says, You are bent on dying the truth. Your eyes are closed and your ears are sealed. Allah cannot guide you, you idiot. Isn't it Allah in the Quran? He said that Allah is the one who sealed our heart. So what is my fault? Let us say I cannot see, I cannot hear. Muhammad is copying the verse from the Bible, by the way. But the idiot, he adds some spice and he make it funny. So look what happened. Who 
who is the one who closed the heart of the Christians and the Jews? Allah. Hmm. Who is the one who sealed their eyes and their hearing and their heart? Allah. Hmm. So what's my fault? Any Muslim can answer? If Allah is the one who made the Christian don't listen, then how somebody convert to Islam? Allah, he is the one who sealed their heart. And he is a, a person who is a Christian, said Shahada, became a Muslim. But the Quran says, Allah, he sealed their heart, he sealed their eyes, and they will not be guided. So how this guy, his name is what? His name? His wife, she called him useless. Because before Islam, he had no job. After Islam, he have a salary, he have a car, he have a nice house. He go to conference, suddenly he became a person of knowledge. Are you Muslim? If Allah is the one who closed the heart of the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhas, the Christians, the atheists, what is the problem? The problem is Allah. It's in the front of you. Who is the one who deceived them? Allah. Even the Quran says, Allah is the best of deceivers. Did you see David Wood destroy Uthman? I do not need to destroy Uthman. Uthman is a joker. He's an idiot. Anyone can, you know, this guy is a, is a joker. He make fun of his religion, this Uthman. My audio is low. No, I don't think so. I think it's from your side, my friend. I have, I have a microphone made in China. Are you saying to me the Chinese, they made the microphone is not good? I mean, come on. You know, like they fool you, they say to you, this phone is made in America, like Apple. No, it's made in China. Everything is made in China. Guys, is my voice good? The only voice cannot be heard is the voice of Allah. My voice is very good. Trust me. I think you have a problem with your speakers. Anyone have a problem with my voice? It's fine. Thank you. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Last call. You guys missed me? Yeah, I can tell how. Well, okay, I see. If you missed me, if you miss me, I'm like Muhammad. You have to do the following. If you want to talk to me in private, brother and sisters, I'm Prophet Muhammad. You have to give it charity. Like, what? Really? Why, Prophet? What do you mean if we talk to you in, uh, in private? Because in private, you know, I'm doing business here. But you're Prophet of Allah. So what? I want to buy an uh, iPad. Uh, a big screen TV. What happened to my keyboard? The I have a letter is not coming. I think I need to restart. I typed the letter. Man. I don't know what happened with this keyboard. There's some letters are not working. Uh -huh. You see when I type here? This is letter D is not working. Ah, now it's working. What happened? How come? Why it was not working? Unbelievable. Man. Do you think the black magic was working? <whistles> oh, you believe? When you consult the messenger of Allah in private, Spend something. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, he opened a special private clinic. And Aisha was a secretary. She collected the charity. Well, look, you talk to me in private and I, I don't, you don't have to pay me anything. I spend all my day with you. For free, all of you. There is one thing all cult leaders, they share. They want your money and your women and even your men. 
why you don't monetize your channel because YouTube don't like what I say so they keep threatening me we will take this down and take that down you know I don't want them let them get lost if you like to support us support us I wish you debate Pakistani mullah bring the Pakistani mullah why not we we debate all kind of mullah Pakistani mullah Bangladesh mullah India mullah Zakir mullah Taliban mullah all of them they are mullah the second you ask them a question they say Ballallah I, I have no idea I'm going to debate a famous sheikh over here in Pakistan I really need your guidance first my friend don't debate a Muslim sheikh in Pakistan because they will put you in jail if you live in Pakistan so I'm not going to help you in that let somebody if you want to debate he can speak to somebody who live abroad because a debate cannot grant you freedom of speech it's not a debate how you can win such a debate if you say a word they will consider it insulting you will spend the rest of your life in jail and mostly you will be executed so don't debate a Muslim in a country support terrorism like Pakistan debate have to have equal uh, rights not only you can accuse me I cannot answer you because if I answer you you will say I'm offending my your God and you kill me this is what they do in Pakistan cowardly government even my videos even my videos in YouTube always YouTube send me that this video is banned from Pakistan because the government made a complaint I made many I made many posts about it is a Christian Prince Orthodox all the Christians should be Orthodox Orthodox mean to be in the straight way my friend don't waste your time and ask those questions about who is a Catholic who is a Protestant who is Orthodox you will not be saved because of a church name you will be saved if you are following Christ a name of a church will not save you don't be a foolish person Jesus says whoever believe in me and I will live what save you is believing in Jesus not in the name of a church or a bishop bishop most of them are corrupt most of them are false but not all of them for sure but many they are doing business and the proof of that ask them about Islam they will mute they don't want to talk about it this is how you know a corrupt priest from a true priest a true priest a true bishop a true Christian person he will not compromise and he will say the truth it doesn't matter how doesn't matter where doesn't matter what his position Actually, many of them, they are praising Islam. One church following Christ. And my friend, don't come here and, uh, and divide the people. You are not welcome. No, any person, he follow Christ, he follow Christ. You do not need to follow a church. That's false argument. Jesus did not establish any of those names. None. Jesus did not tell you to be Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant. He told you to follow me. As simple as that. So take your Satan and get away. Be aware of those who try to divide you. They are from the devil. Divide and conquer. Christians are united, they are strong. Christians are divided, we conquer them. Never follow a bishop. Never follow a priest. Never follow a flag of a name follow one master what the Bible says there is only one master his name is Jesus there's no other master for all men are sinners if you follow me I'm a sinner why you want to follow me you are stupid do you agree if there is one of us here claim that he isn't a sinner so if this church is contained of men and women who they are sinners how we can follow the sinners we follow Jesus only my friend the bishop himself is a sinner. He needs forgiveness. He has to pray to God to forgive him. His being bishop, actually, it's more burden on him because when he sin, he sin, like his, his sin more ugly. So don't let them divide you. Follow the one who unite you, and there's no one can unite us except Jesus. Bishops, they divide us. Most of them, not all of them. Always listen to the message of unity. Ask Jesus, which one you like? 
to be united or divided, the answer you know it. Don't be a fool and don't let the devil divide you. Our Lord is the Messiah and no other name to be followed. And I choose my name to be Christian because there is no other name better than the name of Christ. No other name. So my friend, don't be a fool and follow a man. All men are sinners. You know, once I receive an email, I was actually I receive emails from people saying you are a good person. I say, then what what make me good? I mean, we are we, we do sin. We have a, a sinful a thought. We have thin, a sinful act. Don't follow the hypocrite. We do sin. There is only one person. If we are good, then we do not need God. If if man is good. Then why he need God? He do not need God. He's God himself then. Because only God is good. That's what the Bible said. When the man, he said to Jesus, you are good. Jesus said to him, why you call me good? When only God is good. Muslims, they say to you, oh, see, Jesus denied that's good. That's not true. Jesus saying to him, how you know I am the good God? Because Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. And my sheep, they know me. Uh, can you please explain Sahih Bukhari? Yeah, you know, let us, uh, there's many questions, maybe we can do them later. All right. Uh, I saved those other guys and his family. He is a Muslim, but he is a Christian, worship Jesus in secret. Okay, well, what you can do. Yeah, so guys, we will leave more questions maybe for tomorrow. For now, really, I have to go. I have a lot of work to do. And supposedly, I said to myself, honestly, I said, I'm going to go and I will have a coffee with those good people which I miss. Just coffee. And now I am live for how long? Ah, two hours and 31 minutes. I mean, do you see what you do to me? Honestly, do you see what, what you do? This is why, you know, in the future, I want to I wanna, I wanna take like a... I want to take off somewhere where there's no internet because as long like the reason I was not coming in life I don't have a good internet see the only way to prevent me from staying with you for long and do what we do is no internet so I want to finish my translation for the Quran so the whole world can see the truth true translation maybe for the first time but maybe in a few months from now, I would do that. So I want to say to you guys, thank you very much. And thank you for all the emails and, you know, the uh, uh, people are worried about me. They want to say, hear me. I, I am always here as long as the Lord provide me with the ability to breathe and to talk. I will be glad to be with you. Uh, we, we pray to the Lord to keep you all healthy, uh, strong, and Satan will not be able to deceive you. Remember, Satan, he have many ways to come to you. If you are a person who believe in God and you love God, still Satan come come to you. That's why Jesus said, be aware of false teachers who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. Why he is coming to you in the clothes of a sheep? Because you are a good person. So even the good person can be deceived. You have to be vigilant. How we know Jesus? How we know what is coming from Jesus, what is not? Jesus said, from their fruits you shall know them. Not from their names. Not from their clothes. Not from their color. You can be black, you can be white, you can be Asian. Still you can be a person who follow Jesus. How we know if you are following Jesus? How you know yourself if you are following Jesus? From your fruit you shall know them. You have sin, you commit sin. But still you have a fruit of Christ inside you. And you do it. And you avoid sin and you fight it if you have so we say in christ's name we are victorious we say in christ's name we defeat the devil we say in christ's name we say muslims we love them we don't hate them and we will never hate them the day we hate them is the day satan he made victory we hate hate and islam is hate in the quran allah the filthy allah the devil allah he said in chapter 5 verse number 14 he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. So remember that. When somebody, he tried to divide the Christians, he is serving Allah. 
he is not serving Jesus. Allah is saying to you in the Quran, and those who call themselves Christians, we took a covenant. What covenant you are talking about? What to Chris Blackstone? Huh? To follow a religion of muta and fornication? God of sex and madness in his heaven? And they abandoned the good part of the message that we sent to them. So we planted among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Do you see the devil? The devil is not hiding his plan from you. You are a target. So if you are a person who speak bad about Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, repent. Repent, my friend. You are just following the devil, Allah. Repent to Christ. For all of us, we should follow only one person. His name is the Messiah. And no name better than his name. A person who is a Catholic, I'm not a Catholic. I said that 1,000 times. He's a Christian for me. I love him. In the name of Christ. He believes in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The same as someone is Protestant. The same as someone is an Orthodox. Who is the one? Who is the Antichrist, the Bible says? The one who denied the Father and the Son. They don't, my friend. They don't. The Catholic... They believe in the Trinity. The Protestant believe in the Trinity. The Orthodox believe in the Trinity. All of us, we love one person, one God. Our differentiation should be a delicious fruit in the table of the Lord, not the opposite. Our differences should be for His glory, not the opposite. A Muslim, he said to me, Christian Prince CP is a son of Satan. Well, you know what? You can say that if you want, but look what happened now. Your prophet, he said that when a Muslim or a person, he had a, he had intercourse with his wife and he don't say certain prayer, which is, you know, I seek refuge by Allah from the devil. Shaitan, he will wrap himself around the penis of the man. He will be doing the wife and the person will be the son of Shaitan. Well, that is your prophet. Because your prophet, his parents, when they had sex, they did not say the prayer. Both of them, they were not Muslims, and both of them, they are pagan. Which is Muslims anyway. So based on your stupid prophet, the one who don't say that prayer, shaitan wound himself around the penis of the man, and he do the wife, which means your prophet, his mother was done by the Satan. I'm not saying that your prophet says that. So who is the son of Satan? Can you tell me? Who is the son of Satan? And how stupid Muhammad is to say such a statement. Did he forget that he, his parents himself, did not say that prayer? Did he forget? So you try to insult me, you bring, you bring insult to your insult and injury to your prophet. Thank you, everybody. May the Lord bless you. I will try to come uh, uh, live on air tomorrow. Until we see you again, I say may the Lord bless you. May the Lord save the Muslims. May the Lord open their heart. May the Christians be able to help them, love them, and share with them Christ as he is, not as Muhammad told them. For God is good. So is a Christ. Thank you. God bless you. Miss you again and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.